Hello, hello, hello. For like the third or fourth time, we're going to do the Type 3 Phaser Rifle. <laughs> Hope you're having a wonderful day. <clears throat> I keep doing this, this show, this video, and um, it keeps having sound problems. I just, it's just not been my thing. Anyway, <clears throat> I really want to do it though. I really like the idea of the Phaser Rifle, and I may use it in my in my other game on the other machine where I can do uh, kind of a playthrough. Anyway, I wanted to make sure that I got this up here. It says, you know, Modi Mod Mod 620. That is the modder that ported this over. It says, huge thanks to Jack of Blades 1313 for allowing this to be ported to Xbox. I want to try to give the modders more credit than I have been. Um, so that's why I'm starting off this way because this is the only way I can make sure that I don't forget both the modder that ported it and the modder that created it. So the original mod, of course, comes from the Nexus. Um, <clears throat> to find this mod, you do have to go to ArcJet Systems. I've done that and I've, I've uploaded that video, or let me just say it's a big video because it <laughs> it took me a while. I walked right by it at first when I finally could get to it. Anyway, um, so it's a longer video and um, of how to find this rifle. Um, if you really don't want to see the whole thing, just, you know, just on that finding video, just like scan down to the last 10 or 15 minutes and you'll see it. Um, <clears throat> but it does show that you have to have done a certain amount of quest. You have to have done a certain amount in the game to get there. Um, anyway, this is a very cool rifle. I think John still has both of them in his inventory where I did this show previously and it just like I said, it had a bad sound problem. So I don't think I don't think we're even going to, have to reset anything. I think I just need to reload John, and we should be in. So you have to sit through this reload. If the reload is super obnoxious, then I might take and chop it out. But uh, for right now, if it only takes a you know if it only takes a little bit of time, I'll just talk through it. Um, I do have a little bit of a video editing piece of software so I can like clip a little bit out and connect things together so if I have um, a video that I need to chop up for some reason I can do that or if I need to connect a couple of videos I can do that so you won't see as many fragmented videos like part one part two because I'm gonna put those together and that means some of my videos might be long the finding of this phaser is almost a long I mean, it's almost an hour long so um, but it's good to have that capability, and I'm glad I found that utility to do that. And um, <clears throat> and it didn't cost me anything, so hey, you know that's even better, right? Mostly, I have spent now. I, mean, I have spent some money, you know, to be able to record the videos and do some things. But but mostly, I have been pretty good. Um, I've probably spent some money I didn't need to spend trying to correct this sound issue, but. I just there's not anything I can do about it so it's too bad that all you won't be able to see the first show but it had the super mutants and everything it's really too bad um, you see I still have the oh let's see are these both I think these are both the same for the purposes of the show we need one of them to be different this is John right yep this is John see the chief all right so anyway Let's go. If I sound a little happy, it's just, uh, it's just, um, I've been working a lot, and I'm just glad to try to do this again. I'm hoping that it will be okay. Um, so they both have the automatic receiver. I need one of them to be semi-automatic, just so you'll see the difference. There's really not much difference. Um, both of them have the, uh, the damage jumped up. I don't think we care, do we? I mean, everything's going to die anyway. I mean, we can show the difference. Um, let me show you. If you don't use the damage multiplier, then um, you're not going to do near as much damage, which is fine. Um, just depends on how you want to play and what you want to do. But um, tell you have to look at the damage. So this is the one. I'm using right now. Now, having the fully automatic one use let make do less damage is kind of a good idea. Oh, somebody's 
Oh, I guess he got shot out of his legs. That's kind of gross. Oh well. Um, yeah, he lost an arm. Do we have some caps? Woo, got some caps. Alright, and there's another guy that might have lost a member. Anyway, having it fully automatic and do a lot of and do less damage is kind of fun. It has very little recoil. But it does have a little like your controller It doesn't have a lot. And you need to stand here and shoot all day. You don't have to do it. And zoom in. And zoom in. And zoom in. Like you're snapping. 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 Anyway. So you get the idea. That's fully automatic. And that's just going to town. And that's on low damage. That's doing that 35. And that was probably way too loud, wasn't it? I apologize. You know... I've been noticing that when I'm loud, when my game is loud, I am not loud enough. So we're going to turn the volume down a little bit. I apologize. So anyway, as I was saying, if you have, if you do use the lesser damage, try to go ahead and try the fully automatic. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> At least I think it's a lot of fun. You don't have to reload or anything, so it's really good. You can still zoom in. Now, if you do the semi-automatic, and you have it souped up, like I have the damage all souped up. One shot is all it takes. And he's dead. Oh my goodness, well it helps if... Oh, look at that, I missed. I missed. Okay, that's a that's an issue, but I have that issue with this entire game, so... But anyway... Oh, look at that, he tried to duck me. Don't be ducking. No ducking cover. Oh, are you... are you... There. Take care of that head problem. Yep, there we go. Hey, don't look at me like that. Alright, anyway, you get the idea. So, this is with the uh, semi-automatic, and the damage is turned way up. But look at that, he still did not die in one shot. He sh shouldn't he have died in one shot? It seems like he should have. The damage is 122, though, so maybe that's not sufficient to always kill in one shot. Maybe it depends on where you hit them and other things. Oh look, see he didn't die in one shot. But he died in the second shot. So, there you go. Now I was going to show you, because we've done this before, we should do it again. It was pretty fun actually. We're going to use the fully automatic version. I'm going to do a quick save. We're going to summon up a few super mutants to fight. Oh, let's go back in here, because I don't want the robots involved. Let's go back in here. I don't remember where Piper is, but I think I left her outside, so I think we'll be okay. Um, so let's go and summon up some dudes just for fun. And this is the fully automatic version, but it does less damage. But it is fully automatic, so it kind of makes up for that. Um, anyway, we'll have a good time with it. Just bear with me for a moment. I had to move my cord. I, I'm still, I'm not wireless yet, so... Okay, so let's see. Super Mutant, Super Mutant, three or four? Oh, well, let's go four. I like even numbers. Uh, let's do a Gunner and a Raider just to keep everybody distracted. All right, so that's about going to be about six guys. My game might pause for a second. Look at these guys. Oh, there's a Gunner. Oh, oh, this might take a minute. Look at that. He's pretty tough. But we got him. Look at this guy. He's dodging. He's a raider veteran. It would help if I aimed better with it. Let's do this. There is some recoil, so... I was not kidding him that there is some recoil. Alright. <laughs> I was horrible. And, and I admit it. That's okay, though. Okay, so there is some recoil. Maybe there's too much recoil, but you know what? It should have some recoil, shouldn't it? So I'm not going to say there's too much. I'm just going to say there is some recoil. Um, so you might want the semi-automatic. I, I imagine with the semi-automatic, I wouldn't have had as much trouble shooting this one guy down here. But my aim is not always the best, I would admit that. So I was going to see if I could grab some caps on the way out. All this mess I've made. All these caps everywhere. 
All right. Anyway, I don't think anybody snuck out this way, did they? No, I think the robots would be going crazy. No, he's not doing anything. Okay, interfering with the law enforcement robot is a felony. Last recorded break was 9,999 hours ago. Okay. Alright, so anyway, I just, I've really been wanting to do this show, so I hope this turns out good. Um, this has been the Type 3 Phaser Rifle. Uh, let's see, I showed you the fully automatic and the semi-automatic, and you can increase the damage up to 200%. Uh, you know, I did not take you through all the mods for the rifle at that because there's not a lot. So let me let me go back. See, I've already done this three or four times. I keep having issues, and I have to redo it. So I may have forgotten <clears throat> to do this properly. I apologize. So what you have, you have a choice on receivers, automatic or semi-automatic. After that, you really don't have any choices. These are all standard things, and you do get a choice on your your damage. Um, the material, it says you can use these, but it doesn't change it. I've tried it several times. It doesn't make any difference. So you really only have the automatic and semi-automatic and the damage option. That is really the only options you have, and you still can't craft this. Let's double check make sure I'm not, not fibbing to you. But I still, if I remember correctly, you still can't craft this even though you have found, yeah. Even though you have found the weapon, you cannot craft one. So... But it's a it's a cool weapon, and if you're into um, Star Trek, and you remember these rifles, these rifles are pretty fun. Um, it looks good, and it looks like you know, in a way. I mean, now it looks good. It looks like it belongs from the TV show or the movies. But notice this. Okay, this is just a goofy thing. But notice the scope. The scope when you see that it makes it look like a child's toy like it could be a nerf gun you know what I mean and I don't mean that insultingly I just mean if you're gonna do that and just make the scope you know just give it a an appearance that's not a bad idea because it just makes it look like it's a, a a toy gun so hey we'll take those ball caps nonetheless I think this is a good gun and it's pretty fun and yes I know I was horrible with it but still I still think it was a good gun and it would be fun to have especially if you like Star Trek so I'm going to do a few other phaser weapons they weren't requested like this one was though so um, I've also had the same problem with those but the, them I'm not in such a rush for you'll see some other mods here that I was intending to do some things with but since I keep needing to redo this mod, I haven't got to them. So this is the Type 3 Phaser Rifle. Um, like I said, it was uh, ported by, if I can remember correctly, it's like Modi Mod Mod 620. And uh, Jack of Blades 1313 is the one that did the mod. Um, you do have to go to Arc, Jet, Arc, Jet, Arc, let me say this correctly, Arc Jet Systems to pick it up. You just go back behind in the little building behind the, the main building, and you go down the elevator. So, so you have to have done the quest with Dance, I think, or whatever his name is, of the Steel Brotherhood, um, to turn the power on and be able to get down there with the elevator. And then when you go in the elevator and you step off into that control room, this rifle is on one of the desks on the upper level of the control room on the right hand side so that's when you're coming in off the elevator now I walked right by it the first time you can plainly see it in my video if you want to watch that and laugh at me that's fine I, I totally get it I thought it was a shame that I, I walked right by it the first time and didn't see it later coming back I was like oh there it is so nonetheless um, you can look see that in the other video um, Nonetheless, I think I think I've shown everything for the weapon here. The weapon is pretty simple. It's a good size mod, 2198. It's not too big, not too little. It's it's fine, especially for one weapon, and you don't get a ton of options. But it has some good phaser fire, and and I don't know. I liked it. I just think it's fun. So.
I would probably do semi-automatic myself because that's just me. Um, when I do the fully automatic, it does, it really does have some um, feedback into the uh, controller that uh, makes it a little harder on me to get my aim decent. So, <laughs> that's life, right? Okay. Well, thanks for watching. And, um, whoa, there we go. Hope you have a good day, and I will catch you later.